It's time to make some more terrible parenting choices for my baby. Yep, he's sleeping in a box. Hello everybody, I'm Kylie Key and welcome to Parenting Choices. We have some choices to make. Dogs, cats, or nightmare-inducing clowns. I'm just gonna go with dogs. I want my kid to be happy, and here's the thing. For those of you who have been around for a while, you know that I've played this game, but we never actually finished it. I wanna raise my child to the point where they can live a functioning adult life, and maybe make some really bad decisions along the way. We'll see. Either way, turn on a light. Don't, don't start a fire. That's like, <laughs> it's just asking for trouble. Moving right along. Should I change the diaper? Yes, use reusable diapers. Bleh. Disgusting. The baby did not like that. What should I name the baby after my favorite color? I think we talked about this, but like, what if your favorite color is like a, a paint color? Like, you know how paints have like really weird names? Midnight Fog. You're like, what? Yeah, that's my kid's name, Midnight Fog, one word. It's weird. I think all of these are bad, but let's name him after my favorite clothing brand. Ooh, he did not like that. Little Baby Supreme. <laughs> so stupid. For the record, Supreme is not my favorite clothing brand. I don't even know what my favorite clothing brand is. Mother wants to go out. Call a nanny, stay with dad, leave him alone. What the, I mean, stay with dad. He's the other parent. Do your job, dad. Let mom live a little. What in the world? Congratulations, kid. You got a weird Elmo, but he is not red. Let's continue this adventure. Sad baby, drink milk. I gave you ketchup before or mustard. I don't know. Either way, th th we're going to feed you the proper nutrition. Teach baby a new word. Hello. That's a sweet word to learn. Not mine. That's definitely one of my son's favorite words. Mine. Baby is crying again. What's wrong? Give him money. <laughs> Check the diaper. Yeah, he's got a sneaky diaper. All right, look at me. I'm I'm parenting. I'm I'm a great parent. Baby is learning to crawl. How will you help? Push them over. That's so messed up. Um, encourage them. Yeah. Good job, kiddo. Ooh. <laughs> That's disgusting. Clean gently. What? Th okay, this mom has to teach me how to do that. That was incredible. But look at those gauges up at the top. That is amazing. Baby needs new clothes. Super guy, bat friend. What? I'm gonna dress my kid as like a superhero? All right, uh, how about uh, super guy? That's adorable. I'm not gonna lie. That is very cute. He needs a cape though. All right, we've got a dancing toddler. Terrible twos. It's it's a rough age. That's kind of crazy to think about. The last time I played this game, I did not have a two-year-old. Now I have a three-year-old and a second child. Holy cow, things change fast. Anyways, look, mom dancing. Well done. Keep grooving, dude. I'll dance with you. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing this. This this is the move. This is the move. Okay, yeah, great move. Very impressive. Let's go on a trip um, <laughs> to the zoo. Let's go to the zoo. I think that would be a very fun trip for a toddler. Baby is throwing a fit. What do you do? I mean, honestly, a lot of times you just gotta ignore them because trying to calm them down just makes them more mad. Take it from a guy who's a real parent. I mean, that's my go-to, but all right, we'll calm them. I think that's what the game wants me to do. Baby is playing in the trash. What do you do? It's really hard to explain stuff to a two-year-old, but I know that's what the game wants me to do. So that's what I will do. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my gosh. That's a great look, man. Look, Ma, I'm a rapper. Really? That's... That's what rappers look like to you, huh? All right, cool. Yes! Yes, you are, kiddo. Keep it up. Really? I, w I wasn't... I can't encourage that? Kind of a bummer. Oh, time for a haircut. Mom is not happy. Yikes. I love giving him a watermelon head. Yay! He's a watermelon guy. He's Superman, but if he wore a watermelon helmet, which is pretty good. Baby thinks the fridge is mommy. It's fine. I mean, why though? Like, cause, oh, that's where I, that's what feeds me. That's my mom always feeding me the fridge. 
dress up the fridge like you? It's so messed up. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. <laughs> it's so dumb. Baby needs music to fall asleep. What will you play? Death metal. Uh, no, I'll play classical, but that is pretty funny. Baby is hungry. What well, will you feed them? A balanced diet. That seems pretty fair. His heart rate went up. That's great. Baby is playing with your car keys. Trade candy for keys. They know. Parenting 101, I'm doing it. I know it's not the right thing to do, but uh, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Baby is lonely. What will you do? Play with them. That's, that's a fun thing to do. I'm all good for that. Baby leveled up. Get him a weird Furby. Now creepy, not red Elmo can hang out with weird Furby. We're in the kitchen now. When should baby nap? Whenever they act up, nap time when they are tired. Now you gotta have a consistent schedule. Nap time. Beautiful. Make his brain better. Baby is potty training and has an accident. Yeah. It happens. Um, reassure them. You want a positive reinforcement. Keep them using that potty. Baby learn the ABCs. That's incredible. Sing with them. I like that. Maybe he can teach me the ABCs. I can only make it to F. Baby's clothes don't fit. Stretch the clothes. Just take them and uh, just leave them in their diaper. That's so messed up. No, buy him new clothes. Get our little watermelon helmet boy some new clothes. Teach baby to say their name. Repeat slowly. Yell at them. Write it down and point to it. Yeah, he doesn't know his own name, but he can read. Repeat slowly. Very good. Look at me. I'm I'm a good parent. Unless I choose not to be. All right, where should the baby sleep? In baby's own room with mom and dad. Let's be realistic here. You're going to put the baby in his own room, but he's going to end up in the bed with mom and dad. It, guaranteed. But we'll say in baby's room. He seems to like that. What shoes will you put on baby? <laughs> High heels. I love the idea of teaching a four-year-old to rollerblade. Do it. Do it, kid. You got this. Look, see, your brain power went up. Rollerblading. Baby's playing with a knife. Take it away gently. No, smack it out of their hand. <laughs> They're in danger. You don't just gently take away a knife from a baby. Baby had a bad dream. Let them sleep with you. Calm them. Let them sleep with you. That's fine. That that was the right choice. And we got green on all accounts. Baby has a friend. Invite them to play. Baby wants to learn self-defense. Watch Karate Kid. Wax on, wax off. <laughs> that is not going to teach him self-defense, but I love that he loved it. What movie should you let baby watch? The Incredibles, Fast and Furious, or horror movie? I mean, horror movie is pretty good. The Incredibles is the right choice, but Fast and Furious is the funny choice. So that's what I'm doing. And look, he, see, he was into it. Time to try a musical instrument. Give him an electric guitar. What? Really? You're gonna cry over an electric guitar. He probably wanted the drums. I should have known. Someone hit baby at preschool? Call their mom, yell at baby, move baby to other school. I feel like these are all kind of weird responses. What does the game want me to do? Probably call their mom. Be like, your baby hit my baby. Something like that, I don't know. Haven't quite gotten to that stage in, in my children's life yet. Time for a bedtime story. What will you read? <laughs> Today's news. <laughs> I love this junk mail. Nah, let's do three little pigs. <laughs> junk mail, that's very funny. Baby is crying in the mall. What will you do? Also, um, baby is age four. I don't think baby is a baby anymore, but whatever. Call the police? Um, buy a new toy. Bribe them. Yes. You're late to preschool to pick up a child. Go and get some coffee first. Break traffic rules. Call him. Let him know. It's still like, I mean, a four-year-old isn't going to quite understand that. Age five now. You're getting taller, kiddo. That watermelon isn't going to fit your head. <laughs> We're going to have to get you a bigger watermelon helmet soon. <laughs> All right. Baby's first day of school. Still a baby. Kid's going to kindergarten. We're still calling him a baby. That could cause some long-term issues. New hat. Pack lunch and pencils. Forget breakfast. Give the pencils. Got to gotta get a good lunch to feed that brain. What movie should you let baby watch? My goodness. Animal Adventure. Classic. Baby, scrape their knee. Disinfect and Band-Aid. Quick rinse with water. They'll be fine. You know what I want to pick is they'll be fine, but you should disinfect it and put a Band-Aid on it. All right. Smart choice, dad. Baby can't tie their shoes. Get Velcro shoes. I love that. 
Solution? Make it easier. Teach them or tie them. I'm getting Velcro shoes. I don't know if that's what the game wants me to do. It, it kind of didn't seem like it, but that's my solution. Baby needs school supplies. Notebooks, tape, scissors. Hmm. Three pencils or a broken crayon. That's definitely the worst one. Let's do notebooks, tapes, and scissors. Okay. For some reason, I lost justice on that. I don't know. Baby made a friend at school. Congratulations. Have a play date. Have a good time, dude. Baby's feeling sick. Oh my gosh. As a parent, this is definitely one of the worst things ever. Seth got sick like, I don't know, two months ago or something like that. It was the worst. So a baby feeling sick, we got to do whatever we can. Monitor and rest, go to the doctor. I mean, it depends on how sick they actually are. Let's assume it's really bad. Go to the doctor. Hook this guy up with some, like, some good stuff. Make him feel better. Baby got bullied at kindergarten? That's so sad. Teach them karate! We've been watching the Karate Kid. You've been training your entire life for this. Wax on. Wax off. Um, just ignore baby. No! No! I mean, no! Okay, that- I meant ignore the bully, not ignore the baby. It's confusing when you call your five-year-old a baby, okay? What's five plus five? Is the baby asking me or am I asking the baby? <laughs> Such a weird thing. Um, I think the baby's asking me, so I'll tell him it is 10 and he seems to like that answer. So great. Good job, me. Baby starts banging head on wall. Bang your head on the wall. See, we can do this together. What a fun family activity we can have. Probably not the best thing to do. Watch and clap? No, I'm, I'm, <laughs> it's not the right answer, but it's pretty funny. Baby is hungry. Give him some applesauce. We've survived age five. I'm feeling good. Let's move on to age six and get this dude a ninja turtle. A literal ninja turtle. It's Raphael and it's glorious. What is there to eat? Ice cream, hot dogs, and corn? Hot dogs and corn? Seems like a weird combo. Corn dogs, sure. Hot dogs and corn. Give him some ice cream. <laughs> it's time to make some bad parenting choices. I don't think we've ever made it to age six. I know that's kind of depressing when you think about it. Why don't you do some ice skating? That seems cool. Um, so I want to see what some of these decisions can lead to. They broke another kid's toy? Not my problem. <laughs> Why is this? <laughs> Why? It's, it's not a good choice. It's time for an art project. Fancy paints. Clay. Paper and scissors. What are fancy paints? Like, what's the difference between paints and fancy paints? I don't know. Be a fancy fancy pants for fancy paints mom can i have a phone S at six i mean i recognize the importance of having a phone it makes it so that you can contact them at any point in time how about you know what just have my old iphone whatever be be happy that apparently i i failed i failed as a parent what does unlock mean yeah sure give me the ad unlock i guess means that i get another chance um regular phone that was still not good Cool. Okay, no phone. He is very happy about that. That's kind of a weird reaction from a kid, but sure. Summertime activity. Sports camp, computer camp, backyard camp. Let's do backyard. <laughs> You're staying home, kid. We're we're setting up a tent in the backyard. That uh, you know, honestly, that seems pretty sweet. Do girls have cooties? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you crying? What? I'm not lying. They're covered in cooties. Oh no, I have a crush on my friend. That's nice. Tell them or stop being friends. That's nice. Oh no. I broke him. I broke his brain. Man, being a six year old is hard. Um, tell them. Oh, nope. Still dead. <laughs> okay, stop being friends, I guess. Kind of a dramatic choice, but okay. Choose a babysitter. Grandma, girl next door, ex-husband. Um, grandma. Grandma's always fun. Really? That's the, that's the bad brain choice? <laughs> that's weird. Mom, read me a bedtime story. Hansel and Gretel. Don't they get eaten at the end? That's terrifying. Little Red Riding Hood also gets eaten. Also terrifying. Cinderella also gets eaten. No, she doesn't get eaten. I don't know. Um, Cinderella? Okay. We got to keep that brain power high because um, it's getting real low. Cheated on a quiz. Praise, spank, explain. Spank him. No cheating. Cheating is bad. 
All right, kiddo. What to eat for lunch? Gummy worms, Lunchables, cookies. All bad for you, but Lunchables are quite delicious. Get them. Oh, that'll improve the brain power. Boom, baby leveled up, let's go. Um, is that a full-size excavator? If so, give it to me now. If not, pure disappointment. Uh, that's not full size and I'm crushed. All right, age seven, let's go. How long should kids study for? 10 hours? Could you imagine the brain power? No, just 30 minutes. Really? He's sad about that? Weird kid. I mean, he does wear a watermelon on his head. It's starting to smell real weird. It's been on his head for like five years. My friends want to come over. No friends. Go study. Make them food. That's the nice mom thing to do. Kid is riding a two-wheeled bike. Um, tell him to do a flip. Yo, do a backflip. His heart is not looking so good. Tell the kid to do their chores. Make their beds, sweep floors, give them a break. I don't know. Make their bed, I guess. Okay, that increased his heart, so that's good, because it's not looking very good. Loud noises and your kid can't sleep. Crack a joke. What? What is this? The boogeyman might get you? Oh my gosh. Just crack a joke. He loves that. He loves jokes. Where to take your kid for fun? Grocery shopping. Oh my gosh, that's the worst. Play basketball or library. Although when I was a kid, I loved going grocery shopping. This is going to age me real good because the grocery store had a video game rental section and I got to rent video games from there when I went grocery shopping with my mom. So it wasn't so bad after all. But where do we take this kid? Play basketball. That's what he wants. Okay, apparently that was bad for his brain. Playing basketball, it's bad for your brain. The video game taught me that. Your kid starts swearing. Oh my gosh, go berserk. <laughs> Just scream or spank. I don't know. Scream. He loves that. I'm just screaming and he's having the time of his life. Your kid is collecting random stuff. Boogers? Gross. Toy capsules or stickers? I like the toy capsules idea. That seems fun. <laughs> collecting boogers. Gross. Your kid needs some new clothes. Hand-me-downs. Discount mark. Latest brands. Let's go discount. I know he's not gonna like it, but my wallet will. I want a new toy. No toys. Small plastic blocks. Those are fun or video game. You know, I mean, I gotta do it. it I, I was a kid once too, and video games win. Your kid is staying up past bedtime. Wake them up earlier. It's a weird strategy. Who cares? Check on them more at night. These all seem weird. Um, check on them more at night. Okay, he seemed to like that, and the justice went up, and that's what we needed. I want more dessert. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not gonna argue. It's like, have some ice cream. It's cool. Dinosaurs. Let's go. I now have an eight-year-old. I'm scared. Your kid wants to try ATVs? Those are so dangerous. I'm just gonna say no. Sorry, kid, but... Those things roll. It's time for a school project. Science, history, or art? Like, what's the right choice? Does it really matter? Let's go science. Because your brain, you're, you need more brain. And <laughs> you need more brain, but less justice. It's one or the other. Where are we going this weekend? Um, The beach. Let's go to the beach. That seems fun. Your kid wants a new pet. Get him a snake. <laughs> That's awesome. I have a test at school. Cool. Go play. He likes that. The kid's response is what's really throwing me off. Sometimes I pick things that I think he's gonna like and he cries about it. It's weird. Your kids earned a special treat? Go to the movies. Look at him. He's happy. Apparently his justice is not happy though. It's time to visit family. Grandparents, cool cousin, weird aunt. Let's go visit weird aunt. Wow. He really, really wanted to see his weird aunt. That's pretty strange. I want to build a robot? Me too, kid. Let's go get some parts. Let's do it. I'm into this. Your kid threw a rock. <laughs> I mean, my knee jerk reaction is who cares? Did he throw it at something? It doesn't say he threw it at something. He just threw a rock. Although I guess, you know, if you say it's okay to throw rocks, eventually he might throw rock at something or someone and that could lead to some issues. So I guess you're grounded. He loves it. He loves being grounded. <laughs> what a weird kid. A cat followed your kid home. Adopt it. We're keeping the cat. There's a hole in your kid's sock. Sew it up. Buy new socks. <laughs> Who needs socks? Gross. Buy new socks. Your kid needs a snack. Fresh fruit. That's always a win. Like, I'm I'm 100% 
fresh fruit. I don't like my teacher. Call the school and complain. Find some common ground. That seems pretty reasonable, I would say. Don't disrespect adults. I like find some common ground. Get on their level, talk it over, find out why he doesn't like the teacher, and then work through it. And here we are, age nine. Man, your kid fell and hit their head, holy cow. Put a bag over their head? What's wrong with you? Take to the hospital. Head injuries are serious. You don't wanna mess around with that stuff. Your kid lied to you about their grades. <gasps> It's not okay to lie. Justice. I'm thirsty. Drink water. It's good for you. What is my kid going to perform at the talent show? Piano. Play the triangle. What an incredible talent. Or sing. Um, do you know how to do any of these things, kid? Because I didn't teach you. Um, let's go with singing. He has a beautiful singing voice. Maybe. He seemed to like that choice. Send your kid to summer camp. Science camp, fat camp, or boot camp. He's a good kid. Don't send him to boot camp. Send him to science camp, and then maybe he can like find a new fruit to wear on his head other than watermelons. Maybe he can graduate to cantaloupe. That's exciting. Girls are mean. I know, right? <laughs> your kid shows you their drawing. It's beautiful. Cry? Cry because it's so beautiful? No, just say it's beautiful. Yeah. Positive affirmations. I love it. OMG, a spider. Dude, I'm squishing it. Sorry, Charlie. Sorry, buddy. It's nothing personal. I just... Maybe it's dangerous. I don't know. Your kid runs inside with dirt and mud. Yell and tell them to clean up. Let them run around. Ignore. Um, Clean them up, please. Okay, well... Wasn't the right choice for the kid, but it was the right choice for my house. Favorite pastime? Dude, we're playing games. I love this. Your kid burned your hair? How did that even happen? Chase after them with a stick. Just faint. <laughs> Just pass out from third degree burns on my head. How, how does something like that even happen? What does that mean? Kid plays with your makeup. Put on lipstick. I like that. <laughs> there you go, kiddo. I hate you, mom. That's not nice. He's like, yeah, you're right, mom. You're right. Man, raising kids is weird. But now we have a 10-year-old, and I am concerned for his well-being long-term. He's still wearing a watermelon on his head.